Welcome to Upticks. I'm Jake Falcon, the founder of Falcon Wealth Advisors and your host of Upticks. Today is episode 106, Retirement Income Planning. Okay, before we dive into today's show, I hope that all of you out there are staying safe and healthy. Uh, the pandemic numbers, uh, depending on which viewpoint you see, continue to improve or get better. Uh, but just know that this too shall pass. Uh, nobody knows really when. Um, but like I said, I hope everybody's just doing what they can to remain healthy and safe. Uh, and just know that this will pass. The, the only thing that's constant out there is change. Okay, so for today's topic, I wanted to talk about retirement income planning, very hot topic of the things that we discuss at Falcon Wealth Advisors with our clients. And I think it's very important because one of the greatest fears of the pre-retiree is not having enough money saved to sustain your lifestyle in retirement. And that's why it's so very important that you understand retirement income and have an appropriate plan for that. And so for retirement income planning, there's basically four different ways uh, that we look at it at Falcon Wealth Advisors. Um, and so, but before I dive into that, I, I don't want the topic to only be on income because you also need to have a growth component. Um, the idea is that if your portfolio is set up strictly to generate $5,000 a month today, in 20 or 30 years, because of inflation, $5,000 a month may or may not cut it. And that's one of a, a quick side notes of why we don't like annuities at Falcon Wealth Advisors, because many times those payments are fixed. So you do need to have a growth component, uh, but for cash flow's sake, I do today's topic, I wanna talk about income. So the four ways that we generate income for our clients um, are here. So number one would be income interest generated from bonds, okay? Uh, so basically, just a quick definition of what a bond is. A bond is a loan type of investment where you take your capital and you loan it to a government or an institution or corporation, and in return, they pay you interest. And for a retiree, it's very important because you can live off that interest without depleting the bond's principal. Okay, so if you put $10,000 in a bond and it pays you 3%, you're going to get $300 a year from that particular bond. And then at a set maturity date, you'll get your $10,000 back as long as that bond stays in business, right? As long as that's a safe bond and, it, and the company is healthy, right? So number one, bonds are very important. Also, we like bonds in a portfolio because they typically dampen volatility, right? So uh, when the stock market's going crazy up and down, bonds typically hold steady and just kind of do their thing and kick out income, All right? So bonds are very, very important. Um, as far as, as that's concerned, right? So very important that you've got some bond interest, in my opinion, for a retiree coming into your account. Uh, the number two method would be dividends. Um, because we choose to buy stocks and bonds directly at Falcon Wealth Advisors, our clients uh, get to participate directly in dividend income, right? So if stock XYZ kicks out a dividend to you, that works very similar to a bond. You do not have to sell shares to collect that dividend. Now, one big misconception that I think people don't understand though, is let's say a stock is trading at $40 a share and it's going to pay you a 50 cent dividend. Well, the day after or the day that that dividend is paid, that stock price is going to go down to $39.50, right? So it's not that a dividend is an increase in value per se, but what it does allow you to do, like I mentioned, is not sell shares of stock and still be able to generate some income. So if you have, you know, if your stock's worth $40 and you get a dividend, it's still only worth $40, but the benefit is you didn't have to sell anything to generate that income, okay? So again, um, it's a nice perk. You have 100 shares of a stock. If it's going to pay you a dividend every quarter, every year, however often it pays you, that's just more cash into your pocket without having to deplete your principal. Okay. And in a perfect scenario, now this doesn't happen for every client, but I'd say in, in an ideal scenario, the bond interest and the dividends that you collect every year are enough 
to generate all of the retirement income that you need. Now, I would say for all of our clients or the clients that I personally meet with, this isn't the, the case for everybody. I would say, roughly speaking, maybe only a quarter of our clients that that works for. What that means though for these clients is that they have saved enough capital and their lifestyle is at a low enough amount that they have enough money that we can just buy bonds and dividend paying stocks and it's gonna kick out the income and they never have to touch their principal. They don't even need growth, these clients, right? They just need the interest. Uh, but again, that's not the case for everybody. So I don't want you to be concerned if the bond interest and the dividends that we have set up for you aren't enough to fully sustain your income. That's okay, because there's other options that we have here, leading me to option number three, which would be trading actually options uh, or using covered calls. Now I mentioned this in episode 105 of Upticks, and so I won't go into options in too much detail right now. It is an advanced strategy and it isn't for every client, but that is another way to generate income off of your stocks, okay? And so we do a strategy uh, that's designed to generate income. And uh, the concept is if the stock goes up, you may potentially have to sell it. But again, for the retiree, it doesn't really matter. What they want is income from that. Uh, nobody likes to lose a, a huge gain, so we try to be careful with it. Um, so we're very selective on how we do this. Again, it's an advanced strategy and not something I would recommend you try to do on your own. But it definitely is a way to generate income in retirement. Okay, so that's option three. And then the fourth strategy that we use uh, it's just adding up other income sources. A lot of people forget uh, that you can turn on Social Security typically when you turn age 62. And it, you may get a reduced benefit from what's called your FRA or your full retirement age. Uh, but that's okay. If you need the income and it's pulling it from Uncle Sam versus your investments, it may make sense. Again, I'm, I'm not saying that everybody, it makes sense to turn it on at 62. I'm saying it may make sense for your income. Again, that all correlates to your financial plan. Um, you have a full retirement age based on when you were born, and then age 70 is when Social Security typically peaks out. So it doesn't really help you much to wait past 70 to turn it on, uh, in our opinion. Again, there's always a different unique circumstance for everybody, but I would just say from 62 to 70, somewhere in that time frame, it typically makes sense to get Social Security, which will help your retirement income and help you plan for that. Also, if you get pension income, Right? I know not many people get pensions anymore, but a lot of our clients do have pensions uh, because they worked at their companies uh, back in the heyday when they had these uh, pension streams. So that's another source. And then a lot of our clients, you know, they're not retiring at 60 years old uh, and sitting on their couch. They're out there going out there and they're finding uh, new careers and they're, and they're generating extra income through part-time employment uh, or consulting, or they start up a business, whatever that may be or they buy rental property, right? And they are a landlord and, that, and that's another way to generate some passive income. Uh, so there's all these other different income sources. So the idea is for our clients, when we are looking at their financial plan as it pertains to retirement, we wanna add up all four sources of these. We wanna look at their bonds, their stock dividends, uh, if we wanna trade options for them, if it makes sense, and then any other income sources that they're having, we add all of that into it and we take a look at that and we look over a 30 year projection and we wanna see what that looks like. Now the beauty of, of doing retirement income planning with Falcon Wealth Advisors is that if there is going to be an expected shortfall that we can plan for that and make adjustments. And also again, for many of our clients, they also need a growth component, right? So if your income is enough for today, we need to factor in inflation, which we also do at Falcon Wealth Advisors. And that's why we have a growth component. That's why not all of our stocks necessarily for everybody are just dividend paying. They certainly can be if that's something that you want to look at, we can talk about that. But for most all of our clients, we want to have some growth stocks in there. So their portfolio or their capital, or their principal is also growing while they're taking an income stream off of their portfolio. Okay, so again, I know it's a very anxiety driven topic. That's why I wanted to bring it up in episode 106 here of Upticks. I want you to know that that is one of our specialties at Falcon Wealth Advisors is retirement planning, particularly as it comes to income planning. So if you have a question about your income, if you wanna take a look at your plan, if you're not a client and you're listening to this and you want us to take a look at your strategy, maybe your advisor hasn't talked to you about retirement income planning, certainly give me a call, reach out to me. Uh, we're out there on all the social media platforms so you can connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. 
Uh, my email address is simply jake at falconwealthadvisors.com. I'm happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one private complimentary confidential consultation with you uh, to take a look. And, and let's take a look at your retirement income and make sure that we've got you set up uh, so that you can go into retirement with confidence and comfort knowing that you have a retirement income plan. Okay, uh, very good. So for our fun topics today, uh, again, uh, I'm sad to report it's much of the same, which is okay with me. Uh, I did actually, I did want to bring up two books uh, that I recently finished reading, uh, one of which is called uh, The Shack by William Young. Um, very uh, spiritual book, uh, very interesting. It's a fiction book, um, but he does a really, really good job of putting some very important nuggets of lessons for, um, I think almost anyone can benefit from uh, no matter what your faith is. Uh, so I think it's a really good book. Uh, I think it's been out for a while. I think they even made a movie, um, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, it got recommended uh, to me by I think a couple of people and I found it really, really good, uh, interesting story uh, and definitely eye-opening. Um, and then I read a, another book uh, that talked about uh, the five years before your retirement. Another retirement uh, planning book. I've, I've made it a, a focus of mine this year to read what other professionals are putting out there. Um, because I, you know, I agree with a lot of it and I disagree, but it's always good to get another professional's opinion. I think it's only going to help me give our clients better advice. So it's a pretty good book. I'm going to be um, putting both of those books in my Falcon Wealth Advisors private client library. Uh, so if you're a client uh, of Falcon Wealth Advisors and you want us to send you a copy, feel free to let me know. We're happy to do that. Um, both of them are really good books and we continue to build out uh, our knowledge base here. And we just want to share that information with other clients, um, certainly if that are interested. Okay, with that, that's all the time that I do have for you today. I hope that, uh, like I said, that all of you are staying healthy and safe. Um, certainly if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me and I uh, hope you have a great week.